What's up everyone, it's Psych Pro, and we're back with another video, but before I get into it, make sure if you enjoy, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe for tons of new content. Also click the little bell to be notified whenever I upload that new content. Also make sure to check out my Twitter, it's going to have video updates, memes, and basically everything having to do with the channel and everything related to that. So, without further ado, let's get into this video, let's go find some of these Dragon Priest masks. Now, kicking it off with number one is going to be Otar. This Dragon Priest mask can be found at Ragnavald at the top right of Markarth. It is pretty easy to obtain. Just basically run through Ragnavald and you will find it. Now, what it does is it makes your resistance against fire, frost, and shock improved by a certain percentage. I don't know. It doesn't tell you. Now, some of the masks are heavy. Some of the masks are light armor. But this one is going to be considered heavy armor. So, there you go. That's going to be number one. Let's move on to number two. Now, continuing on with the list, we have Ragged. You can find this Dragon Priest mask at Foral Host at the bottom right of Rift. And just run around the mountain on the right side or the left side. Doesn't matter. And you can get over to Foral Host. Now, to be able to actually get inside Foral Host, you have to talk to this man right here. His name's Captain Valmir. He'll talk to you, basically, and make sure you get the dialogue. But he'll give you a key. Otherwise, it, you know, you'll require the key to be able to get in. And he'll give it to you. You'll be able to get in. Now, what this Dragon Priest mask does is it increases your stamina by 70 points. That's a decent amount, both early game and late game. This Dragon Priest mask is also heavy armor. So, on to the next one. Next up on the list is going to be Vulcan. Now you can find this Dragon Priest mask at the High Gate Ruins. Just run far left of Dawnstar and you'll make it here. Go inside, complete the whole little area, and then you'll be able to get the mask. Now what this does is it decreases your Conjuration, Illusion, and Alteration spell cost by 20%, making it that much easier to use all of those. And this Dragon Priest mask is considered heavy armor. So there you go. That's another one down. On to number four. Up next on the list is going to be Volsung at number 4. You can find this Dragon Priest mask at Volskyg. I don't care how to say that. Maybe the G's are silent. doesn't really matter. Basically run through it and you'll be able to get the Dragon Priest mask from the Dragon Priest. What it does is it makes prices 20% better, increases your carry weight by 20 points, and you can breathe un underwater. That's pretty crazy. That's a pretty good Dragon Priest mask, if I do say so myself. I think that's probably one of the best for overall. Now, there are some that are better for specific builds, but I think overall, this is going to be the best one. So with that being said, let's go to number five. Moving right along with the list, we have Hevnarak at number five. Now you can find this Dragon Priest mask at Valthum, bottom right of Markarth, or straight down, however you want to see it. Basically, just run through Valthum, and you'll be able to find the Dragon Priest mask, just like most of the others. Now what this Dragon Priest mask does is it makes you immune to disease and poison. Eh, it's alright. You can get that from either a character skill or or from just doing the enchantment or just drinking a disease cure potion however like that so this mask is a, it's alright if you know you're gonna be poisoned or get a lot of diseases I guess you can wear it but otherwise it's not that good so moving on to number six moving with some speed through this list we have Morakai at number six now you can find this dragon priest mask at the labyrinthian bottom right of Morthal pretty easy to find not too difficult it's the giant structure basically now what this Dragon Priest mask does is it increases your magical regeneration by 100%, makes it come back 100% faster. Now that's pretty good if you're doing a mage build, if you're going through, you know, trying to get your magicka to come back faster. There you go, that's 100% faster. So whatever it's coming back at, now you got it for 100% more. Pretty good, this is considered light armor, so that one's pretty easy to get on to number 7. Up to par on the list is going to be Croesus at number 7. Now you can find this Dragon Priest mask at Sheer Point. You'll have to kill a dragon. Croesus will pop out of that little little uh, burial thing right there. And then you'll fight him, be able to pick up the Dragon Priest mask. Now what this mask does is it increases your lock picking, archery, and alchemy by 20%. Making it that much easier to do all of it. Uh, the main reason I would use it would probably be the archery and alchemy. I don't really care for lock picking because it's not that hard to lock pick in this game. But nonetheless, it is a very good mask. 
Uh, along with that, it is light armor. So let's move on to number eight. Now, the next entry on the list is going to be Nakrin at Skuldafin. Now, you can only find this mask during the main quest. Basically, you'll be teleported to Alduin's portal by another dragon. You'll be sent over here. Then you'll have to kill the dragon priest or whatever and then go through the portal to get to Sovngarde. You can only do this during the main quest, so make sure you get this mask before you finish the main quest because you need the mask. Or make sure you at least pick up the mask if you've already done it because you will need the mask for the end of this video. So nonetheless, now let's see what the mask actually does. What it does is it increases your magicka by 50 points and makes destruction and restoration spells cost 20% less. So, if you're a mage, this is pretty good. If you're an elf, I forget which one it is, I don't know, doesn't matter. It already has an extra 50% magicka as well. I think it's high elf. Uh, that makes it have 100% extra magicka, or 100 points extra magicka, so 200 total magicka starting off the game, which is pretty good. Don't forget this mask. I think you'll be able to probably get to the end of the story by 10 to 20, level 10 to 20. So not too hard, pretty easy. So on to the second to last mask. Up at number 9 on the list is going to be the wooden mask. You can find this at the Labyrinthian, the same as the other one from earlier. Pretty easy, you should already have this point, this location found. Basically the wooden mask is your last step to get the special Dragon Priest mask. Equip the Dragon Priest Mask, you'll look like you're tripping off of some type of some type of plant, no one knows. Then you'll be teleported into here where you put all of the Dragon Priest Masks. So let's just start them up. We got Volson. Vo okay, I said that wrong. Volsing. Vokens. Otar. Morakai's. Then we got, oh, if I can do it, Raggets. Nakrins. I like that one the best. Havnarax and Croesus, and then you will be opened to the Conorex. I don't even know how to say that. It doesn't even matter. Let's take it off. Let's look at it. This is the last one on the list. We're not even going to do a jump cut to it. This is the last and final one. To be, What you do when you get this, you've done everything. You've gotten to this point. You now have this last and final Dragon Priest Mask. Congratulations. What it does is when your health is low, you have a chance, it has a chance to heal the wearer and damage all nearby enemies. This mask is a beast. It's gorgeous. It's also considered heavy armor, by the way. Doesn't really matter too much, but look at that. We've taken off the wooden mask, so we're going to be teleported out. And just look at that. Look at that beauty of a mask. Yours will look completely different, except for the horns. There are horns, little tusks on yours as well. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Finding all the Dragon Priest masks. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. Everything like that. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment. Everything down below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Psych Pro, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.